welcome to Fire Saltaro. Today uh, I'm doing a reading about uh, how do they act versus how do they feel. So um, as usual we have the three piles, one, two and three. And um, just as a reminder I'm drawing the winner for the free personal reading of 30 minutes at the end of this month of May. So if you want to participate you have to subscribe to the channel, like this video and leave me a purple heart in the comments. Uh, thank you so much if you decide to participate. Now, um, take you more time if you and pause the video if you need uh, time to pick the choice, the pile. Welcome pile one if you picked the uh, rose desert crystal and the Corne carnelian crystal. This is your reading. I'm going to have a look at the angel card at the end. And uh, I'm gonna start with Taro now. So how actually let me first uh, So I'm going to set the intention for this reading to be for the highest good of all Okay, so um, let's see with Taro first of all For the person on the heart and mind of pile number one how do they act? The hangman reverse. The knight of swords. It's, is it upright or reverse? Upright. Ten of uh, pentacles reverse. I want one more on this line, hold on. Magician in reverse. At the bottom, the Hierophant. Clarify the young man in reverse. Seven of Wands. I'm gonna take the first one because too many cards came out. Knight of Swords, clarify, Temperance. Clarify the Ten of uh, Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords. Clarify the Magician, Page of Swords, Magician reverse. And at the bottom, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let me reflect for a minute here. Okay, so how do they act uh, towards you? Um, first of all, this person acted as if um, whatever their point of view was, um, they were like irremovable from their point of view. So, um, and very defensive towards what they thought was uh, right or wrong or, or what their point of view was in, in the situation with you. So, um, when they spoke with you, they made uh, clear that uh, they were irremovable from, uh, from their uh, perspective. Also, this person uh, acted with you, uh, is acting with you um, in a way that's, um, let's say, a bit irresponsible, um, being in and out, hot and cold, and um, sometimes they have um, acted out of inst like instinct and, and impulsivity, like they've been impulsive. Um, in the way they were uh, speaking to you or um, in the way they were acting towards you and then though they realized that they realized uh, at times that uh, they needed to rebalance themselves uh, that they actually had um, had done a step too further like they had um, you know um, made a step too far too far for you to accept and so um they kind of then uh, go into this mode of uh, trying to patch up, let's say, you know, patch it up and reconcile and uh, and uh, reharmonize. So there has been uh, this kind of uh, back and forth type of uh, attitude from them, which uh, I'm sure has been... Um, I mean, a bit confusing, I suppose. And uh, the fact that uh, their point of view was so um, 
like uh, they, they wouldn't see any other point of view except theirs uh, it's, it's, uh, it um, it uh, is born it is born from a place of uh, defensiveness so this person uh, felt like they, they needed to defend their corner and therefore uh, the only way they thought it was the appropriate way was to make sure that uh, uh, their perspective was uh, taken you know in consideration and uh, and uh, fully uh, uh, you know not that, that they weren't being put under under anybody's feet let's put it that way like uh, that nobody would treat them uh, in in any other way but with the respect stating that uh, they knew what they were talking about uh, in fact we also have the ace of swords and so this person uh, was very um is is uh, acting as in uh, speaking um openly sometimes it could be even harshly uh, with the combination of these two cards um and anyway um they looked uh, the, their truth was uh, in, in their actions was that they were not interested in a relationship so they came across as in uh, i'm not interested in uh, in a proper uh, commitment and uh, yes with the magician in reverse that they weren't going to put uh, uh, any any effort uh, they weren't going to take any particular action they weren't going to um, really do much um, but but in their actions um, they were checking up on you um, either uh, through social media or if you don't have social media they were checking on you um, in other ways like gathering information through people that you know in common or um, or whatever is the way they could gather information about you maybe you know if they know your typical place where you hang out where they might uh, accidentally come into the scene and and look what you're doing watch what you're doing things of that sort um also they came across as um being single and wanting to live their best life being single um and that they were not uh, they were very um like uh, you know that they were uh, happy to stay in that state that uh, they didn't want any particular change from their current uh, single state so this is what i see so far um i want to double check with this other uh, oracle deck how how are they act how are they acting for pile number one the person on their mind and heart how are they acting facade so they're putting on a facade and i'm going to clarify what this is fa this facade is about what is this facade about the three of wands that they have plans that they have um, projects uh, that they want to look after that they have um, a whole uh, range of possibilities in front of them that they're passionate about what is this facade yeah that they have many options many possibilities uh, even emotionally that they can um, pick whatever they choose because there are uh, plenty of uh, options out there for them uh, let's see more how, are, how is this person acting for pile number one oh, this two fell out guilt and prayer they came in reverse to be completely honest they don't feel guilt that they don't feel guilty about anything and that they're not that they're uh, you know not praying like that they're they're happy and content with their way things are let me let me double check with taro what is this guilt and prayer in reverse clarify yeah they, they don't feel guilty uh, that they uh, because um okay let me clarify more because i want to get the right message here yeah let me see 
they don't feel guilty about um, having uh, hidden emotions and that they put in the work and that they uh, were not juggling you with anybody else so they basically are saying uh, that they don't feel guilt like they're acting as if they're not feeling guilty of um, let me let me reflect on this one because it's complex i'm going to take more clarifiers because i need to what is the seven of pentacles here three fell down Four of Cups, Reverse, the Ace of Swords, Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. What they're saying is that they don't feel guilty because um, in their perspective they've put in the work to offer, uh, to offer a beginning uh, in your um, partnership. But that uh, this was a missed opportunity, something happened that... Um, created the um, confusion between the two of you with the Ace of Swords in reverse. There was a misunderstanding and uh, and that that uh, led to the missed opportunity. So they feel like uh, it just it's just uh, something that uh, although they did put the effort and they and they were uh, you know being uh, consistent about it and yet this didn't work this uh, beginning with, with you didn't work out and it's not their fault this is how they're acting and they don't feel guilty about this um, but I see these hidden emotions popping up so um, and let's see the prayer I'm going to clarify the moon in a minute but I want to see why is the prayer in reverse five of wands and queen of wands let me see yeah, they're acting as if they're not, with the prayer in reverse, they're not wishing for this anymore because um, there was too much conflict with you, the Queen of Wands. And, but this is how they're acting, that doesn't mean that this is how they feel. Um, I just want to clarify this moon. Why is the moon here in regards to the guilt? Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, Reverse. I think uh, they they are acting as if they have uh, they haven't got feelings for you with the moon, so it, the feelings are hidden. While instead uh, there is a storm in their head. I think with the two of swords they they uh, are still puzzled about what to do, and in the meantime are uh, keeping silent with the eight of wands reverse, while they're uh, still uh, pondering this option of. Uh, uh, going for a relationship with you which would bring the Ten of Cups, the total wish fulfillment. So um, I think this person is uh, trying to release, like remove the sense of guilt that this situation has brought to them for how the things um, happened and, um, and yet there is still underlying um, feelings that they're acting as if they're not there. Okay, I'm going to just clear the board, otherwise it gets very crowded. And I'm going to take now um, one last card, like one last bit of cards with this deck on how they're acting. They're acting like as if they were busy, you know, in their routine. Um, they're acting busy in their life, that they're uh, going about their routines and, uh, you know, doing all the things that they need to do to attend with the clockwork. 37 could be a relevant age for either one of you. What else? How do they act? Well, they, they act uh, social, like that they're being social with other people, um, that they're, uh, you know, being like um, having their, uh, you know, they're chatting with other people, that they're um, like kind of in general, I mean, they're being socially active, 
that's how they're acting 12 could be relevant to date of birth or month of birth or 7 as well so um, month of birth July and uh, or the 7th of uh, a month they could have been born how are they acting how is the person for file one acting the divine feminine I'm going to clarify this one because I think it could mean that uh, they're acting with non-action because the Divine Feminine is the energy of uh, receiving rather than, you know, it's the yin energy. So the receiving energy, the Empress, you know, you're in your throne sitting and, and prosperity comes to you. They're not uh, being active in the taking actions again we saw it with the magician in reverse so this person is not taking uh, yeah they're, they're acting as if they're not taking any actions towards you basically just uh keeping an eye okay now what do i want to do next i'm going to have a look now at how do they actually feel Okay, let me clear it out of camera so I don't waste your time. Okay, so how do they feel? For pile number one, how does this person on their mind and heart feel? Three of swords. You see how different it is? Ace of wands. Very different. <laughs> They're putting on a good show, right? Page of Wands, it flipped, but it's it's upright. As it was falling, it just flipped, but it's upright. And the Knight of Pentacles. And the Star in Reverse. Hmm. I'll tell you already how they feel. Because I can see it very clearly. First of all, they actually feel heartbroken. It seems like the two of you are not together and probably not even talking from what I saw from the previous spread. And so this is possibly a separation, no communication type of situation where the two of you are not talking, not seeing each other. And with the three of swords, or I mean, take it as it resonates, it could be in between that and another and uh, <clears throat> other situations. But, uh, you know, that's a very high possibility for what I've seen previously. And so they feel heartbroken, they're missing you terribly with the star in reverse. You were uh, a wish for them that has not come true, like uh, it's lost. It's, it's uh, a wish that has been lost um, as an opportunity. And so how, how they actually feel is that they feel uh, extremely, <laughs> first of all, turned on by you. I mean, they're very attracted to you. They probably very much physically physically desire you uh, <clears throat> they might be even uh, pleasuring themselves thinking about you and uh, they're looking at um, sort of a new beginning yeah with the ASO ones and the page of ones they want to have a passionate uh, new beginning with you but also a stable one, like a, they want to take steady steps. But let me clarify. So they are carrying uh, the energy of uh, the slowest acting uh, night, but yet uh, they want to take action, but uh, they are going to be pondering this action now. Clarify the three. Okay, I also saw the word in reverse. They feel unfinished business with you. But let me clarify. Um, Page of Swords reverse, yes, they are, um, again, checking up on you, uh, feeling very curious about uh, you, what you're doing, uh, because they probably don't have easy access to you. And so if you have lost contact, if you're not anymore talking to each other, they might have no idea of uh, what you're up to, what you're doing, are you even dating somebody new or things of that sort. So... Um, Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, yeah, they want to apologize, bring a message of uh, love, apology, and um, 
you know, that way, they, that would be the sort of entrance door for a restart in their perspective. How are they feeling, this person? How is, it? How is this person feeling? Clarify the page of wands. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, they want to put in the necessary work and steps to progress uh, this uh, forward, this new beginning, yeah. They want to bring the situation with you to a better place where the two of you are not fighting anymore, are emotionally stable. Um, and let's see at the bottom, the Six of Cups. Clarifying the star in reverse. Yes, they miss you. They feel the distance from you. They feel nostalgic. Um, they feel the soul bond. And a familiarity with you. You're home to them. They don't want to be single anymore. They want to form a stable partnership with the King of Pentacles. They want to show up in a more stable uh, energy for you, um, concrete, offering uh, a concrete plan and uh, yeah, offering it with the page of pentacles. So there is the pentacle here, the pentacle here and eight pentacles here. This, this leads to the ten of pentacles, if you sum them up. So uh, this person wants the relationship with you and come out of their head. They're very passionate about you. They feel the soul bond. And they're starting feeling restless with the Knight of Swords to take action. Knight of Wands reverse, it's even another very restless energy. And they want to drop the burden uh, and bring forward the change of events. This is how they're feeling. Yeah, so um, let me now, let me now uh, see more about how they're feeling with um, the Romance Angels deck. So for pile number one, how is this person feeling? Okay. Deception, codependency, chemistry and past life relationship. So how do they feel? They feel like uh, that they were wearing a mask, like that... Um, that they weren't totally honest with you. We saw, we saw with the fact that they were hiding feelings. But we'll clarify with Taro. I think they see themselves as uh, they weren't fully um, open with you about their feelings. And so in this way they were deceiving. Uh, if you know yourself that there was a, an higher level of deception, like lies. Uh, although I didn't see any third party in this uh, spread. So... To me, from the previous spread that I saw and from this spread, what I see is that um, they didn't express their feelings fully to you. And so they were hiding their true feelings. Codependency, uh, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, they know that they had uh, some ad addiction problems, uh, either it be to substances of some sort or either it be um, that they were seeking uh, romantic uh, uh, relationships just to fill the gap, just to fill the void that they were feeling. Chemistry, they felt uh, and they feel extreme uh, chemistry with you. There is a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you. They, uh, we saw the ones here. They feel very passionate about you. And they feel also the soul bond, the past life uh, relationship. You've known each other before. They feel this sense of familiarity that the two of you have known each other from uh, previous lives, if you believe in that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly clarify the deception card, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the message there. But Let's see. The three of pentacles. Yeah, they didn't uh, tell you that they wanted a partnership with you. They wanted to cooperate. Let's see, let's clarify the codependency card. Well, the moon comes up and the ace of cups reverse. Yeah, this person was not emotionally open. They didn't let their uh, feelings speak. Like, they didn't, they didn't uh, speak their feelings to you. And so they showed up uh, halfway. They weren't like... Um, 
giving this relationship a proper chance and uh, there were other things that uh, were affecting your love life together your romantic life so uh, they probably had to clear out uh, um, other things that they, they might have even ha been hiding from you if uh, you don't know about it it's a possibility um, they could have hidden uh, just with the of cups in reverse it comes to mind that they could have hidden a drinking problem but this is take it only if it uh, resonates with you so uh, as always this is a general reading never take messages and uh, you know make assumptions unless you double check with reality and uh, and make sure you get the right uh, information for you so always double check i'm just reading the cards and uh, this might be a message for some of you but not others of you chemistry yeah um Eight of Swords reverse. Um, there was no doubt in their mind that there was an extreme attraction with you. Uh, let's see the past life relationship. Yeah, um, they feel the soul bond. This is the 11 11 card. The, even the twin flames, if that uh, is something that resonates with you in terms of uh, you, you feel like you are on that kind of journey. But only take it again if you think uh, that's applying to you. And anyway, um, they did see the possibility of, uh, you know, of a proper relationship, even a marriage with this card. Okay, so um, so that's how they feel anyway. They feel this uh, soul bond. Now, let's see. I'm going to take now an advice card for you. Um, first of all, from uh, this, this deck. And then I'm going to see uh, also your uh, angel cards, what they have to say. Your angel card, you only have one. Uh, okay, so let me see the, what these oracle cards say. Okay, we have three coming out, so I'm just going to take them. So this is your first picture here. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires so regardless of if uh, is if uh, is this person or somebody else pile one there are blessings of love soon to come your way this is what this card is telling you and this is the second one close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So you deserve to feel joyful and uh, don't worry about the circumstances you're currently in because uh, you have to allow this joy to flow into your life regardless. And there is, you know, new romantic love coming to you. Let's see this last card that popped. Manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So go with your heart, um, follow its guidance and believe and trust that your, soon, your, uh, your dreams are soon coming to reality. And your angel card says within the next few weeks. So this is giving me the timing when this blessing is going to come. And let's just uh, maybe take one uh, card of tarot or, or a couple, whatever comes out. Okay, okay. Soon, a lot. The, you see, this is a soulmate coming. So within the next few weeks, uh, there's going to be a soulmate coming. Now, regardless of if it's this person or somebody else, and they're going to rush in uh, into your life. Um, let me see the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're going to go towards the calmer... Um, emotional state pile one so um, this is uh, your blessings coming your way okay so this was your reading pile one thank you so much for watching and uh, please uh, like the video if you liked it share it with anybody if you feel uh, anybody could benefit from it and um, also leave me uh, a comment if you would like to suggest me new readings that you wish for me to do I'm happy to try my best to support the suggestions. And then um, also leave me a comment if this resonated to let me know. I, I love to hear your stories. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, take care of yourself.
I felt too welcome to your reading if you picked the Moonstone Crystal and the Agate Crystal. This is your reading. So I'm going to have a look at the um, Angel card at the end. And let's see with Tarot now for starting. Um, <clears throat> how is this person uh, acting towards you, Pile 2? Let's see. For the person in the heart and mind of Pile 2, how are they act acting? Temperance in reverse. Judgment. The sun in reverse. And the five of cups in reverse. At the bottom, the moon. <clears throat> Let me reflect for a minute there. I'm already getting some of the messages, but I want to clarify first because I want to make sure that this is very accurate or precise, you know. Um, let's clarify temperance. Wheel of Fortune, three of ones reverse. Clarify judgment. King of wands. Clarify the sun in reverse. The Emperor in reverse, clarify the five of uh, okay, five of cups reverse, and the moon at the bottom is clarified by the Knight of Swords. Okay, let me reflect again. Okay, so uh, pile two, it seems to me like the situation is that something between the two of you happened that brought uh, some uh, sadness uh, within the connection, and uh, with the five of, of cups in reverse and the temperance in reverse. So there was something that um, that shook the situation between the two of you, um, and this person is is acting uh, as if they you know they felt sadness for this, and they felt upset with the temperance in reverse. Um, it seems to me like they're acting as if they want to rush in to reveal hidden feelings, feelings that they have been kept uh, keeping hidden. Um, and that um, they don't want to feel any more this sadness, like that they're um, that they want to, they're acting as in they want they as if they are um, wanting to present you with a proposal of um, relationship. Because without you, they felt unhappy, and uh, and they felt like they lost um, total control over the situation, and also with the judgment and the king of wands. They've understood, uh, the, this is how they're acting, they act as if they understood something really important uh, and that they want to take uh, a decisive um, um, standpoint with the King of Wands, <clears throat> a decisive, um, uh, like, um, let me think of the word, hold on. Yeah, they want to take a decisive attitude with the King of Wands, of uh, pursuing um, this connection. So they're really acting um, in a way that uh, they want to um, bring a positive spin on of events in your connection, because without you, they don't see any perspective, like they're, um, you know, there is no sunshine where, when you're gone, you know, that kind of song. So um, they feel like uh, your absence uh, is um, is a torture, and so they need to rush in, bringing you this uh, this um, relationship, this proposal. Uh, they've understood this clearly with the judgment. They want a reunion, and so they're acting this way. Now, if this resonates uh, as in their actions, uh, their uh, the way that, that you feel this person is uh, currently approaching you. Uh, let's have a look at their, uh, at also, actually, I'm going to double check their action with the, the chakra as I did the, the chakra oracle deck as I did with pile one, but then I'm going to check their actual feelings so we can get a better idea. So how is this person acting? Complacency, okay, that that's the opposite of what I gather here, so I'm going to clarify it. 
So let me see. How else are they acting? How is this person acting? Acceptance in reverse. Okay, let me see. Because this is a story. I see a progression. So let me... Insecurity in reverse. Yeah, okay. This makes sense to me. Let me see the bottom. Workaholic in reverse. This person might have uh, previously um, focused too much on work and not having uh, left uh, enough space for uh, the relationship to evolve. To, like, they didn't give enough um, with the complacency. Uh, but they're not accepting things as they are currently and they are overcoming these insecurities that were blocking them. Um, by embracing the, their King of Wands uh, sort of power to take that decisive steps uh, towards you. This is, um, I want to see one more, sorry, I just want to clarify one more. Passion, it's in reverse, yeah. Um, so, I think they've repressed, they're currently repress, repressing the passion that they're feeling for you. But um, but they do want to change with the judgment, clarifying like the acceptance cards in reverse, clarifying the judgment and the King of Wands. They do want to uh, bring this for this um, ac action forward, because the King of Wands is a pursuer, is somebody that uh, you know takes action on their goals and um, and uh, and their goal currently is uh, the renewal of the connection with judgment. I think the complacency is more in relation to their attitude before, where they were uh, with the temperance in reverse. Yeah, this is clarifying this. So they were not uh, not letting um, your feelings uh, flow freely between the two of you. And but they want to change this with the wheel of fortune. So I I see there is a change of attitude from this person. They are dropping their insecurities with the sun in reverse and the insecurity card, and the emperor. Actually, this makes total sense because the emperor in reverse is somebody not in their power. So they were probably also um, caught, being caught in their insecurities, and that's why things didn't move move forward. They were also overworking, uh, but they they're now acting as in they don't want to do that anymore they don't want to just leave um, um, time only for work because then at the end of the day they have this big empire uh, of you know lots of money and stuff but who to share with nobody and they, that led to a lot of uh, sadness and uh, passion in reverse uh, yeah they would like i think they're acting as in they want to talk to you very um quickly like they, they're probably sh like shooting you with messages as we speak um or very soon but uh, they're holding back the passionate side for the moment because they don't want to come across just as uh, they're uh, hitting you for uh, you know for uh, some fun time and that's it you know so i think there is a very there is a bigger intention with the ten of uh, pentacles uh, for a proper uh, relationship okay so uh, this is how they're acting. Let me now check uh, how they are uh, feeling. Okay, let me do a good shuffling off camera. All right, Pell 2, I've given a very good shuffling to the deck. So how is um, pile number two person currently feeling? Seven of Swords. Ten of Wands reverse. How are they feeling? Two of Pentacles reverse. Page of Swords reverse and at the bottom the strength. Clarify the Seven of Swords. How is this person feeling for pile number two? Ace of Wands reverse. 
Okay, too many. Hold on. How is this first? Five of Pentacles reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. Clarify the two. Okay, hold on. I'm going to reshuffle. Four of Cups reverse. Page of Swords reverse. Clarify. Two of Swords and Strength clarified by the Devil. Okay, let me understand how they're feeling. One second. Okay, I'll tell you first what messages come out through here and then I'll clarify further because this needs more. So, um, this person is hiding their passion for you. They're very much holding it back, as I said before. And uh, I see that too with the devil and the strength here. Um, because this person is very obsessed with you in terms of... Uh, very attracted, um, thinking about you constantly. So uh, they're trying not to come across too strong. This is what I'm getting here. And also uh, they want, they feel like they want to drop uh, the heaviness that resulted from um, being separated from you with the Five of Pentacles reverse and from uh, not uh, being able to bathe anymore in uh, and this exchange of energy between the two of you. So uh, they feel like they want to put an end to feeling this distance, this, um, you know, this lack of uh, interaction with you. They also uh, want to make sure that their responsibilities and their work doesn't interfere anymore with the possibility of uh, uh, accepting and receiving uh, or the, either offering or receiving depending on your uh, position in this spread um, the love so they don't want any more interference from uh, external responsibilities whatever those are to interfere with your uh, relationship with your um, exchange of messages of love between the two of you of uh, the flow of the love between the two of you and also um, this person is currently uh, feeling like they want to know more about you because they feel a bit insecure I think about uh, what to do because they don't know what you're thinking and so with the page of swords in reverse they're trying to gather information without being too obvious about it to kind of understand uh, and test the waters with you and understand what you are up to and what you um, what you also, you know, have in mind. Um, so, let me clarify. So, I want to clarify the strength and the devil. Why is the devil and the strength in here? Yeah, because they don't want any more feel. Like, they're, uh, they're very... They're very much... Um, you know, stock, uh, they feel less bond to you. They feel bond to you and they feel uh, very lost uh, and sad without you. They're grieving. So they don't want to feel that, that way anymore. They just want to come out of this. Um, let's clarify. Yeah, they want uh, to offer their cup of love to you very openly, very romantically. Uh, one more. Let me clarify with one more, just see. One more for this. Yeah, they want to reunite with you, exactly. Uh, offer you love and uh, reconcile. This is what they are looking for. This is why um, they're trying to figure out. Let me see, why is the two of uh, swords here with the page of swords in reverse? What kind of choice? Yeah, they're currently meditating about uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> I mean, the Queen of Wands, I think it represents you, very attractive. Uh, and uh, they might be even uh, having dreams, you know, um, with, the, with the Four of Swords, they might even be dreaming about you. And uh, they could be also wet dreams with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. Anyway, um... They're thinking of, uh, they're thinking and taking their time to understand how to approach you. 
Yeah, um, they're very much getting in touch with their intuition, with everything at the bottom. Uh, they're trying to figure out uh, which way they have to, they, they can come towards you. What else do I want to clarify? I want to clarify these seven of swords with these ones. Let's see more. Yes, they are holding back their passion uh, and uh, they are holding back also for now the communication. They don't know yet how to approach you. I think they don't know yet uh, what uh, words to to pick, um, what words to choose to approach you. Okay, um, let's give you another clarifier on the two of uh, pentacles reverse with the four of cups reverse. Let's see, one more clarifier. Moon, Queen of Cups, Empress Reverse. Yeah, uh, they know that the fact that they didn't speak uh, openly about their emotions for you and that they were uh, too busy with their own uh, things, uh, basically that they didn't leave space for love, upset you and made you feel very disempowered, like uh, it literally put you in a emotional distress and um, it made you feel even not uh, stable what is this uh, burden and uh, you know the ten of wands reverse let's see clarify more yeah again uh, the message is that um, that they felt like uh, the way that the, the way that things were going um, you know, uh, with, between the two of you uh, that have been going, you know, in terms of not speaking, it was just very, um, something very, uh, very uh, bad, very sad, uh, unhappiness, you know, with the sun in reverse, the wheel of fortune reverse, very, it was an unlucky turn of events, like they didn't really like the way it was going. Okay, we've clarified uh, this, uh, now I'm going to take more about how they feel with the romance angels i'm going to clear out this to make more space so how does the person uh, for pile to feel you deserve love you are lovable they feel like you, you are lovable how do they feel wedding they want to marry you or at least uh, if that doesn't apply to your situation, you know, take it as it resonates. Uh, if uh, you don't want to get married, uh, they at least want to have a solid relationship. But uh, for some of you, they want to marry you. We, we saw that already at the beginning with the Ten of um, Pentacles. Let's see, what else? Very soon. Yeah, they want to come to you very soon. Because they're deciding uh, how to go about this. And uh, and so they're going to be pursuing you very soon, I think. What else? Romantic feelings. Yeah, they feel uh, that you... Your feelings... Are, you know, the feelings that they feel for you, they're worth exploring. Because they're real. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Take it as it resonates. It could be the workaholic situation. Like some people are addicted to work and uh, and they can't stop that and then they don't let uh, other things, you know, uh, they don't leave space for other things like love and, and so this could be what the issue was and if that was not, maybe they had other responsibilities that they were um, having to deal with, whatever those were, could be many different things for uh, any any of you. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at your uh, oracle card. And, uh, yeah, let me see. Actually, no, sorry, I want to first get uh, these oracle cards. And then I'll have a look at the final one. So for pile two, what uh, is the message? Time. You're trying too hard, give it time, yeah, give it time because this person is coming, but uh, don't be rushing, you know, this person, literally, they need uh, to figure it out, we saw the two of swords there, uh, and the four of swords, uh, they're uh, taking time to understand how to proceed, sacred union, 
This is very beautiful. Um, honor and treasure your relationship, for it, it is truly sacred. So, this is your message. And this is another card for you. Uh, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. And again, take this as it resonates. Um, this could be a new path with this person that's uh, on your mind and heart. And if you feel instead you don't want them back, uh, this, this could be just a new path for, with a new person in a new romantic cycle. And uh, so the past is anyway behind. Don't worry about the past. Release the past. And then this one is the other one. This is about cycles as well. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Again, this message about going with the flow and uh, give it time and don't be rushing it and be just, uh, you know, trust, trustful of the blessings to come. This is um, <clears throat> a message repeated again. So don't create an unnecessary stress in your life. Just go with the flow. I'm going to turn them uh, up just to show you the pictures once again. And then let's have a look at your oracle, uh, angel oracle in the near future. So this is happening in the near future for you. So there is nothing to worry. Uh, this uh, beautiful cycle of uh, love is starting uh, for you in the near future. Since I did it for pile one, I'm doing it for you as well. Let's just get one clarifier for the in, in the near future. Wow. I mean, <laughs> the Empress. Yes, you're going to be married in your power. Or if, no, if you don't want to get married, you're going to be anyway in a very prosperous um, stage of your life very soon. <clears throat> so embrace it and, uh, you know, believe in it, trust it. It's coming. Yeah, take time. Four of swords at the bottom. Don't worry, take time. Right, part two, this was your message. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, uh, the best way to support my work is by uh, subscribing the channel. Uh, also, if you liked this video, please, uh, this reading, uh, please like it. And share it with anyone if you think uh, it would benefit any of your friends or family. Also, um, leave me a comment. I love to hear any of the comments and stories you want to share with uh, me or anybody in this community that's growing. And thank you so much for watching again and take good care of yourself. Hi, Valtteri. Welcome to your reading. If you picked uh, these crystals, this is your reading. So I'm going to have a look at your um, uh, angel cards at the end. You got two. And um, I'm going to set this reading to be for the highest good of all. Actually, I'm going to oops, light it up over the candles. So, yeah. Um, let the messages be the most clear and concise for the viewers of Pile 3. Okay, let's start. So, I'm going to have a look with the tarot first. How is this person for pile number three acting? Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles reverse. Two of Swords. Okay, hold on, this is coming. Seven of Wands and the Star and Death in Reverse came out as well. And at the bottom, Page of Swords Reverse. Okay, hold on. Let me move them here. Okay. Right. So, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of swords, ten of pen, ten of um, cups. Clarify, sorry, clarify the six of pentacles reverse. Seven of uh, swords reverse. Clarify the two of swords. 
Ace of Swords, The Sign, Universe, The Young Man. Clarify. Okay. The Lovers in Reverse. Clarify Death and the Star. Five of Swords, and this was coming as well. King of Cups Reverse. And at the bottom, the Nine of Wands. Okay, let me reflect here. Okay, so pile three, they're acting uh, this way. So first of all, they're acting uh, as a loyal uh, person to you. They, um, they are uh, demonstrating uh, loyalty to you, that they're consistent, that they, um, that they have uh, good intentions. Um, although uh, this is uh, stressing them because there is something that is in in uh, there is some there is something that is in between them being able to accomplish the pursuit that they have set themselves up to you know to bring this relationship forward with you there is something that's uh, creating some obstacles and therefore they are stressing out uh, um, in the effort to to show you uh, loyalty and determination because uh, they um, they want to make clear to you with the seven swords reverse that they want to give you more so um, there was something blocking this situation between the two of you there is some external factors that i can perceive from the energies of this spread that uh, is um, uh, blocking their ability to give you more, to give you what the, the fair way, the, the way that uh, you deserve and that the way that they know you deserve and they, they want to give you in this connection. So um, there is something though blocking. I see them uh, trying to seek uh, clarity with the Ace of Swords and, uh, and the Two of Swords uh, and the Hanged Man. They are uh, they're literally in a uh, in a very uncomfortable position currently um, because this clarity uh, even in their own mind hasn't yet fully uh, appeared let's say so they haven't been able to act to speak to you clearly um, about what they're going to do, the, de the decision that they're going to make. And so um, this is probably creating confusion for you. So the way they're acting currently is that they are demonstrating loyalty and the intention of uh, wanting a relationship, but there are some external factors which are impeding the accomplishment of this and they're trying to find the clarity, they're acting towards you in, uh, in uh, telling you that they're seeking clarity about a certain choice to make um, that uh, will then um, unlock this situation with you. Because this is their wish, you see, with the star. Mm, so this is a wish, though, that uh, it's creating uh, in the surrounding environment a lot of conflict and uh, therefore the progression and the transformation towards the next phase for this connection it's um, sort of uh, delayed and this is actually they're acting because of this situation they are acting towards you um, emotionally discontent i mean they have deep emotions for you with the king of cups but they, uh, they feel like they can't fully embrace these uh, emotions because of uh, something that's happening. We, we will um, in the, uh, investigate more. Uh, also, they're acting towards you like they want to fight for this love with the um, Seven of Wands and the Lovers in Reverse, that they want to fight for this love that they've chosen there is a you know they've made up their mind that you are the one that they want to be with their uh, their heart uh, tells them that uh, you want to be the one that they're with and they, they're ready to fight and they're showing you with their actions that they're ready to fight for this love and with the page of swords in reverse and the nine of um, wands 
they do feel uh, in their feel that they're, they're showing you that they're um, currently in a, in a difficult position and that they need uh, to investigate further with the page of swords uh, how to proceed forward in order for this ten of uh, cups between the two of you to actually take place to happen so there is some complexity in this situation let me see if I can clarify how they're acting with this um, first of all actually I want to clarify with my other tarot deck um, what, what is this impediment so I think I want to clarify this row with the, the, the star the death the so what is the impediment here because I see there is um, something getting in the way of the two of you what is the impediment Queen of Cups reverse now I see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups reverse let me check um, Temperance in reverse at the bottom what is this impediment the tower yeah they broke up with uh, their uh, partner okay so here we go this is what's happening they had a, a they were either in a marriage with somebody else or they were in a long-term relationship and uh, there was a breakup between the two of them so this is the factor that's causing a delay between the two of you um Page of Wands reverse, yeah, for the new beginning, new passionate beginning between the two of you to start, uh, they need to resolve this situation first. Now, uh, let me clarify, I want to clarify the Seven of Swords with the Six of uh, Pentacles reverse. Five of Cups reverse, yeah, mm, let me see more strength the Hierophant reverse yeah so um, the Hierophant represents also a marriage card so in reverse it could represent the again the, either the divorce or um, the breakup uh, of this um, um, previous relationship uh, because um, the Arafant is all about traditions and uh, things that are established uh, so in reverse it means uh, this thing that has ended between them and the other partner um, has brought uh, a lot of um, sadness but the sadness I think is more related to the fact that they couldn't give you enough because of what was going on in their life so there is this, uh, let's, let's call it third party interference, which uh, doesn't mean that they have anything anymore to do emotionally with uh, their ex. In fact, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, they were both in reverse, which means the, the relationship is also emotionally ended. Um, but uh, certainly this is interfering with the progression here. And so what kind of decision uh, do they have to make? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Reverse, they have to decide to communicate to the world that the two of you are together. And they're trying to gain the right perspective on how to go about it. In fact, they're for now withholding this information. With the Eight of Wands, Reverse, they are not speaking about it yet. Let me see the bottom of the deck. The Hermit, yeah, again. They're going into a meditation uh, stage, like they're basically pondering and trying to gain clarity. We saw this many times. Yeah, trying to gain clarity with the Ace of Swords, the Sun in Reverse. There is still, there is still um, a cloudiness in their uh, thoughts at the moment on uh, how to progress and make this official with you. This is what I see. The Ten of Cups came out twice. So they want to make this official with you. This is their, this is, um, their actions, so this, this is how they're acting towards you. Uh, we'll have a look then how they're feeling, but let me clarify more about how they're acting with this um, Chakra Oracle deck. How is file number three person acting towards them? Perseverance. Yeah, I see this Perseverance uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, now it did come out in reverse. I think uh, 
they do uh, want to show you that they're perseverant um, but at the same time this there is these obstacles that's uh, that's getting in the way of uh, of their consistency although they are uh, i see they're fighting for the love and so this is uh, how they're acting towards you they want to show you that they're perseverant about pursuing you enlightenment yeah they're gathering uh, as i said previously clarity they are uh, acting as, uh, towards you, showing you that they are trying to gain, gain clarity on how to on how to proceed. What else? How they are they acting towards pile number three? This was bouncing. Impatience in reverse. They are trying to be patient with the situation. They are showing you that they want to be patient in uh, facing these obstacles. Let's see more. Victim, yeah, they feel like they show you that they feel like a victim of the events of the things that are going on in their life currently. Let me see the bottom complacency, yeah. Um, so yeah, they, they, they have to come out of this victim mentality because if they are com complacent and then then that, that becomes an obstacle, so they're acting this way so that they're a bit of a victim. But they want to be patient and uh, and gather clarity about more about uh, how to how to proceed. Let me see now are they feeling. I'm gonna shuffle properly the deck. All right, I've given a very good shuffle to the deck. So how is pers uh, the person on the mind and art of pile number three uh, actually feeling? Oh, okay, this was turning as well. Page of Wands reverse, King of Cups. Eh? Deep love for you. They're trying to um, hold back uh, communicate either communication um, will clarify them um, or passion like they're trying not to just come out uh, looking for passionate times they're trying to show up in a more emotionally open and available uh, way mature way okay, so once as I said like they're trying to hold back they're passionate, but they, they are very passionate, so, I mean, <clears throat> there's nothing to uh, deny here. Okay, six of wands, they want a victory with you. They feel uh, like they want to uh, be victorious. They feel uh, that they're in their head, though. Um, <clears throat> trying to uh, gather uh, clarity again. With the high priestesses trying to connect to their uh, intuition, to their to spirit, to you know, to gain um, a perspective on things. Uh, let me see more at the bottom. We have the four of cups. They're feeling like it's difficult to proceed with this um, love situation. Let me clarify the page of wands. Neither wands. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> If this could be more clear, page of wands, knight of wands, ace of wands, this person is um, you know, on fire for you, pile three. <laughs> so, um, how they're feeling? Uh, they're burning for passion, but they also have love for you, both. And the six of wands, I mean, how many more wands do we want in this spread? King of cups, clarify. Three of cups, how beautiful is this? They really feel... Uh, joy when they're with you um they feel like this extreme sense of love um <clears throat> like it's a celebration to be with you literally they they're overwhelmed with joy wow look at this clarify the ace of wands it comes the three of pentacles so not only they're passionate they also want to collaborate they feel sweet love for you they feel the soulmate bond they feel familiar with you they feel uh, at home and they don't want to be defensive. Um, they want to. Put, they feel like putting down their walls for you. Um, yeah. Clarify the six of wands. Six of pentacles. This time is upright. Uh, yes, they feel like giving equally to you, and this will. Uh, this will uh, give them a great pleasure with the six of wands. Um, you know, it would. They would feel uh, like they're winning, the moment they're able to give you properly. Uh, in uh, the fair manner treat you like a queen that you are you know they're the king here 
the high priestess let's see clarify the high priestess and the eight of swords death in reverse yes they're again uh, trying to understand how they can unblock this situation with the death in reverse this uh, there is a stall um they feel like there's a stall that's uh, making them overthink and feeling them like they're feeling blocked and trapped um and they're trying to understand how they can overcome these uh, blockages in your situation let me see again the bottom sorry oh yeah the four yeah to unlock the relationship the marriage the union with you with the four of wands reverse because it's a potential that's not yet available until uh, this situation unblocks and uh, the page of pentacles clarifying again at the bottom the six the sorry the four of cups uh, they don't want to miss this opportunity with you they want to proceed forward with a concrete stable uh, beginning and close the old cycle and move forward uh, to make you their queen it's in reverse the queen of pentacles currently you're not together yet but they want to make you their wife you see all the yellow in these cards how beautiful is this this yellow 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 the joy that you bring them is immense you are like the sunshine in their world and they want to close up with the old cycle of betrayal with the ex that's it which made them feel unhappy and uh, heartbroken and uh, defensive so yes um this is how they actually feel it's absolutely a beautiful spread all through i mean uh, who wouldn't be happy to get this type of cards and uh, let me see more with this so how do they feel deception yes uh, they had they had to hide this love because of um either the divorce they're going through and so the the love with you is uh, still kept hidden or has been kept hidden for a while uh, so they had to kind of uh, keep the two of you uh, let's say um, your love had to be hidden um, but they feel like making the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take how do they feel Playfulness, yeah. I mean, uh, the amount of playfulness flirting between the two of you. The romance is very um, youthful and uh, between the two of you. is uh, The spirit here says to, recap uh, so to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. The, you, you bring them this uh, renewal of uh, fun, of uh, fun and youth. You know, you, you, even if you're not the youngest, the fact that you're together brings the two of you to feel like children playing together and we know what uh, adult, adult children play um, you know what do they do when they play but anyway let's not go into that uh, detail uh, you deserve love they know that you're lovable that's how they feel one more how do they feel yeah, that they have to forgive and learn from the past. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. That's what they're working on. So it's a bit of a process, but uh, I see this is very positive. Okay, so we saw how they feel. Now we're going to have a look at uh, an advice card for you, by three. And also then the angels cards. Um, if this resonated with you so far, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support uh, my work. I would really appreciate it. Balance. So this is the card. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So if there are currently some challenges, uh, pile uh, three, don't be worrying. I also see the yin yang symbol. You, you probably are soulmates. And, um, you know, don't be worrying too much about the challenges. Uh, a great love has got both challenges and, um, as it says here, uh, and also gives support. So try to be, um, try to be balanced. 
let's see this one is popping uh, there it is the picture and look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean this person loves you deeply we saw it with the king of cups there is uh, no doubt and this is your other card here only time will tell so give it time and let's have a look now at the oracle cards what do they have to say ask your angels and look for a sign so um paltry i think you would benefit from um, possibly uh, praying to your angels if that's something you believe in doing <clears throat> to um the prayer that i would do in your case would be uh, please unblock any um, obstacles that are um, hindering the progression of this relationship so i think this prayer could help also look for a sign um, pay attention to number sequences to uh, you know animals that surrounds you pay attention to um, you know name that you hear repeated or you know things of that sort because all of these signs uh, are the way for spirit to, to guide you through your path so um, this is the way um, you know your ancestors your spirit guides your angels they can communicate in in this world in the 3d world so um pay attention to the signs this is what this card is telling you <clears throat> Uh, of course, if you believe in this, but uh, that's what's suggested here. Um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, these are the messages for today, Pal Three. I hope uh, you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated with you. And uh, if you did, please subscribe the channel, and uh, like the video if you did. And um, if you think anybody would, uh, um, you know, um, have a benefit in uh, watching this uh, reading. Uh, please share it with others and also uh, leave me any comments you wish i'm always happy to hear from you and uh, yeah and uh, reading about your stories thank you so much for watching until the next time take good care of yourself